Hello students, I am Dr. Anita Sharma. In my today's lecture, I am going to explain chromophore and related terms and intensity shifts. So let's begin. UV spectroscopy paper 304 unit 1. Chromophore. A chromophore is defined as an isolated covalently bonded group that show a characteristic absorption in UV visual region and it may or may not impart color to the compound. The functional group containing multiple bonds capable of absorbing radiations above 200 nanometer due to N2 pi star and pi 2 pi star transitions. Examples of chromophore are NO2, NO, CO, CN group etc. Oxochromes. The functional group attached to a chromophore which modifies the ability of chromophore to absorb light altering the wavelength or intensity of absorption. Example of oxochromes are methyl, ethyl and chloro group but they have very little effect usually a small red shift of 5 to 10 nanometer. Other groups such as NH2 and NO2 show a strong effect and completely alter the spectrum. Example benzene, phenol and aniline and the lambda max of benzene is 255 nm while phenol is 270 nm and aniline is 280 nm due to the presence of OH and NH2 which is a chromophore. Changes in position and intensity of absorption. Due to presence of chromophores and oxochromes, intensity of absorption can be modified in different ways which are as follows. Methochromic shift or red shift, hypsochromic shift or blue shift, hyperchromic shift and hypochromic shift. Bethochromic shift or red shift. When absorption maxima of compound shift to longer wavelength, it is known as bethochromic shift and the effect is due to presence of an oxochrome or by the change of solvent. An oxochrome like uh, OH, OCH3 causes absorption of compound and longer wavelength. Bethochromic shift is also produced when two or more chromophores are present in conjugation. For example, ethylene shows lambda max at 170 nanometer while 1,3-butadiene shows absorption at 217 nanometer. Hypsochromic shift or blue shift when absorption maxima of compound shift to shorter wavelength, it is known as hypsochromic shift or blue shift. The shift of absorption to a shorter wavelength or higher energy is called hypsochromic shift. Example aniline show blue shift in acidic medium as it loses conjugation. Hyperchromic effect when absorption intensity of a compound is increased, it is known as hypochromic shift. It if oxochromes introduced to the compound, the intensity of absorption increases that you can see in pyridine and 2-methylpyridine. Hypochromic effect when absorption intensity of a compound is decreased, it is known as hypochromic effect that we can see in naphthalene and 2-methylnaphthalene. Shifts and effect in this diagram you can see as the wavelength is increasing or shifting, the shift is called red shift, wavelength decreasing then this shift is called blue shift due to high intensity it is called hyperchromic shift and if intensity decreases or absorbance decreases then it is called hypochromic shift. Applications of UV spectroscopy. There are some applications of UV spectroscopy. First is qualitative and quantitative analysis in detection of impurities, detection of isomers are possible, determination of molecular weight also possible by, by using Beer's law. These are the references on your screen. Thank you.